Okay, continuing previous video, we were talking about uh, uh, data structures uh, in the last video. So let's go to the Jupyter Notebook and see how a list can be defined or declared, how a tuple can be defined or declared, set and dictionary. Let's see how can we make these uh, data structures in, in Python. So then one by one, we will compare how can we access elements of the list? How can we insert more elements in list, tuple, set and dictionary and, and, and see the comparisons of all these one by one, operation by operation. So let's see. So let's go to Jupyter Notebook, our friend. Um, this file is getting lengthy and lengthy. Let's, let's make multiple files. Let's say this is part one. Just save it. And let's make uh, another. Uh, let's make another file. For example, let's just close this file, or maybe stay it opened. Let's close this file and make another file. Uh, Python three. Um, yeah. So let's name that file as this part two. Let's start a new file. That that file was. I mean, that was okay to stay with that file as well but just let's make another file okay um, so let's just have a markdown cell and let's have a heading um, data structures remember the markdown cells I just introduced them uh, introduced those just uh, in the very beginning and then we just forget them uh, because writing these description again and again will make the video lengthier uh, and the purpose is not to actually format the uh, notebook the purpose is just to show you the power of Python so I just omitted writing these descriptions more and more but just write a few descriptions in the start and then we will forget again oh wow, that's it that's amazing let's define a list so list any variable name that's a variable name list is uh, let's say this you define list by square brackets and different elements they are separated by comma let's say one three four point nine um, name anything I mean uh, or five or maybe maybe three again so that's a list okay um, tuple on the other hand is defined using parentheses so let's say one three four point nine let's say name and let's say three again that's okay that's a tuple a tuple is defined uh, in in so when you write parentheses that means by default that's a tuple the the variable name has I mean if you have written T that has nothing to do with that it's a tuple that's because the Python is dynamically typed when you will write the parentheses, that means the, the tuple is being defined. Let's define a set. Let's call the variable as s. The set is defined with, with these curly brackets. So let's say 1, 3, 4.9. I want to tell you that all these things, they can contain. Each element can have a different type. But then, even if we include this 3 again, because the set cannot contain the duplicates, Later on, we will see that only one copy of three will be there in the set. The other will, even if we want to include, it will not be included. Okay, then let's say a dictionary. Uh, dictionary is again defined like a set, but, but each element is a pair separated by a colon. Let's say the key value is uh, 23. That's a key value. That's a key. And the value here is a string. Let's say uh, two three that's let's say the value now comma now one element is there this one element that consists of key and value pair another element uh, another element may have a key with string so so the keys can be of different types the the values can be of different types and it's so abstract so the key is let's say um, let's say B and the value for this is let's say 43 then maybe we can have another uh, key value pair with key as uh, let's say C and the value is let's say 
um, CC, CCD, that's it, charge couple device, okay, anyways, so, um, so you, now you know how to define the list, how to define a tuple, how to define a set, and how to define a dictionary. The, the, the difference is, uh, is the, the main difference here is in dictionary because one element consists of two values rather than one. Okay, let's print that and see the types. Let's print all the types. Print type of, so let's print them. the type of L is so the type of L is just print it that's L let's print that let's see the other types let's print the rest as well so just copy them and paste the type of list L is that the type of tuple is T and let's say we have T, then we have S, and then yeah, we can just replace this with S, and then we have, let's say, uh, D, dictionary, and that's, that's D. Okay, so that's print. So the type of L is list, the type of T is tuple, the type of S is set, the type of D is dictionary. Oh, great. So that's how you can define um, these lists. Um, uh, you can define list, you can define tuple, you can define set, and you can define dictionary, no problem. Um, next, let's see how to access different elements uh, from, from these data structures. What are the way, for example, to access an element from a list, let's say the element number, element that indexed with one. Remember the element that indexed with one is element number two because the indexing starts from zero. So you can access that using the square brackets. If you want to access from tuple, again from the square brackets, exactly like the list. In set, for example, you cannot index it because the set has no ordering. First, second, third element is no longer there. But you can you can you can check whether a particular element is there in the set or not using in keyword. Uh, in dictionary, for example, if you want to check whether a particular uh, element, if you want to access value for a particular key, you just write the dictionary variable name and then write the key and it will return the value. Okay, so uh, let's practice this in, in Jupyter. Let's just practice this in Jupyter. So let's say list uh, value at index one. Uh, so Let's print this list at index one. Uh, the value should be printed as three. Print tuple at index one. Again, the way of accessing is the same. Print print whether um, three in s or not. The return value will be the return value will be true or false. So print will be true or false and then print uh, D and just access the value with the key 23. So let's see what happens. So L at index one is three, T at index one is three, S three is in S, yes. Um, and what is the value with the key 23? The value is, the value is two, three. Um, let me just, Describe more about this D. What is the value at uh, index B, for example? Now we have to give the index B in the string format. That's 43, yeah. So that's how we can access that. Let's print S also. Let's see S, because when we have defined S, we have defined this duplicate three. But if you see the elements of S, there are no duplicates. And it does not maintain even any ordering. I mean, we have defined S in a different way. It is maintaining everything maybe in a different way. One, three, um, yeah. Oh, the ordering this way is the same, but there is no index for the first or second or third element and so on. Okay, so that's about the uh, defining, declaring or accessing different elements. In the next video, we will see more about uh, about the data structures. Actually, 
uh, actually want to spend some time on the data structures because that will be a basic building block for for the data science packages to if we if we know very well about these data these data structures we will be very fluent in the data science packages and working with those okay hope to see you in the next video okay in the last video we define list tuple set and dictionary and we actually access different values um, uh, in this video I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to actually introduce more indexing how to access list and tuple in particular because the, the both are very uh, very easily indexable like strings um, and I want to show you that all kind of indexing that you have seen in strings exactly works in list as well as in tuple so let's go to Jupyter and see what a list is for example a list if you print the list that's a list it has these kind of uh, values if you just see the list for example starting from index 1 ending at index uh, 3 that that means the same pick a slice for example um, so index 1 value is 3 index 2 value is 4.9 and the last element is not included so if you get that you get 3 and 4.9 so exactly the same the same kind of indexing that you have seen in strings exactly that is working here as well so for example if I say list start from uh, the beginning go to end but then I just give minus 1 it will reverse the whole list I mean the whole list will be reversed um, I mean all the same all the things that that we saw in uh, in string the indexing stays exactly the same in list as well as in tuple uh, so tuple for example let's access element uh, from uh, let's say from the very beginning till the uh, till till the third element let's uh, not the third element till index 3 which is actually the fourth element so tuple and list they are exactly they will be exactly indexed as as a, as it is so all the slicing all the indexing all the sub sub listings all uh, all the sub tuples they can be accessed exactly the same way as you as you've gone through uh, through the through the string uh, one uh, difference here that I will explain later on uh, because uh, list is mutable it is changeable I will discuss one thing that when you when you slice it when you get a sub list um, uh, then actually it refers to the same memory and if you change the sub list contents the actual list got changes um, that is that is true for list um, in in slicing uh, and that is true for sets and uh, dictionaries in, in in the copying the references and so on so I will discuss that later on but rest of the things are roughly the same as as their in string indexing actually indexing uh, is almost the same everywhere in Python it has uh, this kind of sli slicing is almost the same if, if you know the index how to index strings you know how to index lists if you know how to index lists you know how to index tuples and strings and, and everything and by the way if you know how to index uh, string lists you'll be very fluent in NumPy that's the very powerful data structure uh, that's the very powerful uh, kind of uh, array processing package um, with, with, with some differences that we will see but uh, um, even the indexing is same in pandas when you are working with large amount of data data files and stuff like so the indexing is more or less the same that you've seen in uh, in strings we will we will cover indexing masking and fancy kind of indexing in much more detail in numpy but this stays the same as as you've seen in 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 strings okay so um, now uh, uh, can we can we expand the list can we add more elements can we insert more elements to the list the answer is yes because list is changeable mutable you can insert more elements one way of inserting that is just to call an add operator you can just add plus and you just uh, insert another list so like like two strings are concatenated by plus two lists can be concatenated or combined together again by plus but there is a faster function called append l dot append that is sometimes faster than using this operator we will see that tuple because it is immutable uh, you cannot touch any content of the tuple you cannot actually 
uh, insert any element to a tuple you cannot delete any element to a tuple there are workarounds for example convert a tuple to a list change it then convert the list to a tuple there are ways to do that but tuple in its true sense in the literal sense it is immutable you cannot insert any element you cannot delete any element you cannot change any element however you can combine two tuples uh, together you can concatenate two tuples together again by plus operator and save the result into a new tuple that's possible set um, the you can insert elements using an add function add function allows you to just insert one element if you want to insert more than one elements then you can call an update function that uh, actually accepts more than one element that accepts another set that need to be inserted that's possible dictionary uh, you can insert a new key by just d new key equals to that you just assign uh, a new value to a new key and the key value pair is just inserted there great um, you can delete or remove any element from the list using del command del l one that means the this particular element is deleted from the list that is possible deleting particular element from the tuple is not possible however you can delete the whole variable whole tuple that is possible uh, you can remove uh, elements from the set using remove function s dot remove and then you just give uh, the element that you want to remove that is possible it will be removed and you can delete the whole delete the whole variable that is always available similarly you can delete a particular item from the dictionary by just deleting by just calling the d of the value uh, for example whatever the key is so you call with the key and call the uh, delete and it will delete everything um, I, I want to mention here for to remove uh, items from the list there are other methods and functions that are also available that uh, I mean there is a remove function there's a pop function these are available uh, similarly um, from removing elements from the dictionary there are other functions that are available but just to compare them together I am using this del command although there are other ways of doing the same stuff as well so um, let's uh, um, le let's 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 end this video here and uh, in the next video I will show you all these uh, operations that uh, concatenating together, inserting more elements, deleting different elements. I will show you all these things in, in Python. So, so hope to see you in the next video.